Hello. Welcome back, everyone, to Game Zone Bird Room. Game Zone Bird Room. Hello. Game Zone Bird Room! And of course, it's not the Game Zone Bird Room without all the birds. What do you think, Dex? Hello? Look, this is rare. All four of you in here. All four of you in the game zone bird room. Hello. So what we've got for you today guys, other than decks, remember a series i done with my Sega Saturn demo discs, well, this is the same series, but this time with the Sega Dreamcast, games I want from my Sega Dreamcast demo disc. So like with my last series, I will only play games I haven't got and show movie demos that I haven't got. So this is this one. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, can you? Well, that's this one anyway. Bloody light. What do you reckon, Dex? Nothing? Right, let's have a look at the demo. Here we go. Dream On Volume 1 for the Sega Dreamcast. These were the demos that came with the official Sega Dreamcast magazines. I can't remember if it was once a month. I'm sure it was once a month. So the first game I'm going to try is Incoming. Originally a PC game. I've heard of it. Never played it. Well, other than obviously this demo. Yeah, apparently they got this running on a Dreamcast within six weeks using the uh, Windows CE operating system that, that was built into the Dreamcast so very impressive graphically it's quite a nice game Incoming alien fighters. love the alien Spaceships look a bit like the old Rom, uh, not the Robermans, the King of Warbirds. Great design. Doesn't handle that great. Ship's destruction looks pretty good though. over the place. Yeah, very sensitive to controls. Oh, that's a waste of a missile. Yeah, there's the classic sort of alien ship. Big saucers. Classic design.
It's probably not a game. I would buy. It's all right for a quick demo play. But if it's true that they got this running in six weeks, that is incredibly impressive. Do get to play other vehicles in it though. Here we go, look, the helicopter. This little bit reminds me of a 3D version of uh, Desert Strike. Yeah, this is a bit more fun. Incoming alien surface craft. Such a classic game, Desert Strike. Well, all of them are really. Jungle Strike. Plays so well in the Mega Drive. They're all right on the Super Nintendo, but on the Mega Drive, they play so well. Anyway, back to this. Now this is fun with the helicopter. Controls are a lot better than that, uh, that double machine gun thing. Where, whatever it was, it controls a lot better than that. See, if all the missions were like this, it would definitely be worth it. Definitely the worst game I've played though. So I'm not... Oh, here we go. Just about to say, I'm not too sure where I'm going. I know I've got to protect these stations. So where's the bad guys? Keep the first person. It's a lot easier. Right, I think that's enough from this demo. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? UEFA Striker. It's a shame the Dreamcast never had any FIFA games. I'm not saying the, the football games on the Dreamcast were bad, but really did hurt that FIFA didn't support the Dreamcast. So this is just a, a movie of the demo. I'm not actually playing this. Are they going to show some gameplay footage or not? I mean, it's impressive showing the stadium come to life, but I want to see some football. Come on. Giving me the ump now. Oh, here we go. Characters look quite nice. Looks pretty good though. Perhaps this game will be on a future demo as a play as playable. What's the next game? 
Snow Surfer. This is another movie. I'm assuming it's like cool boulders and steep slope sliders for the sake of Saturn. Yep. See extra power the Dreamcast really really shows when with the graphics. Stunning. stuff, all the stunts you can do on it. Again, love to say the save games, you know, it's the little touches, that waterfall there. That's what makes these save games so brilliant. I'm assuming this is a Sega game, I might be wrong. It's like them big boulders falling down. Look really good. I definitely want to get that game. The next game is Monaco Grand Prix 2. Got it for the Sega Mega Drive. It's a classic game. Definitely more sort of arcade -y. Did say on the, uh, the menu at the bottom though, no Sim, so it must have a sort of simulation type of the game as well graphics look nice especially as this was quite an early title on a Dreamcast like the sort of copied names so obviously that's Schumacher in it, you know. It's pretty clever. Even the cars, slightly different colour schemes. You can tell, like, you know, the red one's supposed to be a Ferrari. Love the graphics on the tyres as well. Really nice looking game. What's it gonna handle like though? Yeah, not bad. Handles pretty good. Definitely arcadey. If you're playing in the new all the one games for the Xbox and PlayStation. You can really make that sort of real simulation type. So the tires degrade and few consumptions, every everything on the newer games, they're fantastic. Where this has got arcade all over it. Which is a good thing, especially when you're going at these sort of speeds. It's a lot easier to go around the corners. No, I'm second at the moment. Definitely a game I want to get. No idea of price probably quite expensive Hurry up. 
you check how many laps it is. Probably three laps. It's the standard, isn't it? Come on, keep on the track. Oh, look, I'm overtaking my partner. No. Nope. Rammed him off the track. Sorry, mate. Yeah, when this came out, oh, this must have blew the PlayStation and the N64 out of the water. Really nice Formula One car models. Really nice. Hurry up. Check Obviously at this point no and and centers on the on the uh, title screen. game was called Anton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix. Obviously the passing of him. They've removed that. What a legend. Still one of my top five drivers of all time. Oh, my first spin. I'm going to lose loads of places. Oh, now he's hit me. I'm ninth, tenth. Disaster on the last lap as well. And I couldn't even complete it. I enjoyed that. Really nice game. Now back to my boat race. So part one has come to an end. What did you reckon, Dex? He don't care. Really enjoyed Super Monaco Grand Prix. That will be added to my games I want. Uh, and so was um, the Snow Surfer, the sort of cool boarding type game. Looked really good as well. Wasn't too sure about the other two, you know, if I find them cheap, brilliant. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Button bash that like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and take it easy. It's supposed to be goodbye. Ah, well, it's a goodbye from him, and it's a goodbye from me. Game song, bird room.